All right, so I have this debate all the time with people, eight gigs versus 16 gigs for video editing. Now, of course, my preference is 32 gigs of RAM, but that's that gets expensive. Um, but people are looking to get into video editing on a decent price point, and I always push them to 16 gigs of RAM. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why I think 16 gigs of RAM is the baseline minimum for video editing. Sure, you can get away with eight, but we don't just wanna get away with stuff. We wanna have peak performance in these apps, in these programs, so we don't get frustrated by the experience and the workflow of the laptops that we're using. If you're new to the channel, my name is Benji Kaiser. This is where you're gonna find the best tech and tools for creative professionals. So if that sounds like your kind of place, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. Let's dive into the test to show you why I consider 16 gigs of RAM my minimum for video editing. All right, now before we go ahead and open up Premiere Pro and some other programs to see how much RAM usage takes place, I wanna show you how much RAM we're using just to open up the computer and be you know, running without any programs open. Now, right now I do have my screen recorder open and task manager, but the screen recorder is only using about half a gig of RAM, um, so we can count that off. Um, but as I open my computer at a standstill, I'm already using about six and a half, almost seven gigs of RAM, not including the screen recorder, as I just mentioned. And as we look at all these different background processes that are taking place, we are consuming a substantial amount of RAM just off of these background tasks. Now I could close down, you know, maybe this Norton security that I really don't need running in the background personally, or maybe the notifications manager from Adobe. Um, but overall, I want background tasks running because it's what runs my computer. And so if you're not super technically savvy, uh, kind of like myself when it comes to these sort of background processes, I'm not really going to know what to shut down. I don't know what necessarily should be running in order to make sure my system runs smoothly. And so just that alone, like I said, we're starting off at about seven gigs of RAM. So just to run the computer, we're almost out of RAM, which is why my recommended 16 gigs of RAM for video editing to me is important to consider. That is, unless you're a background processes master and know which ones to shut down. And in that case, please comment below and instruct us on what to do in this case. Um, but here we go. We're just gonna open up Premiere Pro now and take a look at how much RAM usage happens just from opening the program. All right, so now to open up Premiere Pro, it looks like we're gonna be using a little bit over half a gig of RAM. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up a project and click play in the timeline to see how much we use at that point. All right, as we open up a project, we're now to about two gigs of RAM usage. Now I'm gonna click play in the timeline and see how much we go up to from there. All right, as we click play and it starts to spool up, I'm seeing we're using about two and a half gigs of RAM and we're heading up slowly towards three gigs of RAM usage, okay? All right, now I'm gonna render out some of these files here. You can see some of these different motion graphics. I'm gonna render these out and see how much RAM usage we take at that point. So right now, just as we're sitting, running through the playback, we're using about 10 gigs of RAM. So you can see where that 16 gigs can really come in handy, um, not only running your background tasks, but also then using Premiere Pro. All right, so let's go ahead, get back over here. I'm gonna pause this and click enter to start rendering out the files. And now as I'm starting to render out the files, we're seeing obviously a lot of CPU usage, um, but then look at this, how much RAM we're using to render out these files. About 10 gigs of RAM alone. Um, this is a 1080p project, so this isn't 4K, and we're rendering out motion graphics right now, and this timeline is about a 20 minute timeline. Um, and we're rendering out about six to 7,000 frames um, for different motion design clips inside of the project. So we're sitting at about five and a half gigs once it's leveled off, um, bouncing towards six occasionally, but still, I mean, that's the usage here in Premiere Pro. Uh, then we go over to our performance and we're using almost 16 gigs of RAM. So see, that's why I think it's very important to have a baseline of 16 gigs because you have processes, perhaps, let's see, you know, maybe, oh, I need to look something up on Google while I'm rendering something out. So let's open up here a, a tab in Google. Um, or Google Chrome, sorry. And now we open up something in Google Chrome and now we're using another half gig of RAM. And say, you know, I open up a couple tabs down here. You can't see this, but I'm gonna open up a couple tabs and then I'll show you here in a second. So now I'm opening up a few more tabs. Now we're up to about a gig of RAM. And so you see it can quickly spend your RAM 
in a hurry. All right, now I'm gonna head over and I'm gonna open up Affinity Photo, which is very similar to Photoshop, and we're gonna see how much RAM we start to consume at that point. So not much usage within Affinity Photo, about a half a gig of memory, but that's still affecting the overall usage of our RAM. So if I go into performance, I'm gonna look, I'm using about 16 gigs of RAM between the three programs, plus all the background tasks that are happening right now. So that's why my recommended minimum is 16 gigs of RAM, because you use it way faster, or excuse me, I use it way faster than I realize. I'm running 32 gigs of RAM, and I'm at about half of my RAM usage. So as you can see, there's so much power consumed by just your system running. And so as soon as you start adding programs on top of that baseline RAM usage, you're gonna see it stacks up rather quickly, and you're gonna be easily consuming eight to 10 to 12 gigs of RAM if you have more than one program open at a time. Like I said, if you only wanna have Premiere Pro open, you might be able to get away with eight gigs, but it consumes it rather quickly and your system will slow down and it'll really frustrate your workflow. I hope this video has been helpful. Again, I have some laptop recommendations in the description below. If you do make a purchase through one of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. And that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. I'm Benji Kaiser, and I'll see you guys here on the next episode.